I welcome everyone here tonight in Jesus precious name the book of Psalm chapter 90 verse 15 he said make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us or according to the days where we experienced affliction and the years wherein we have seen evil the meaning is give us progress where we have seen problems Let this charge be titled The God Who Rewards Trub Who Rewards Double for Trouble. Make us glad according to the years where we have seen evil. Give us gladness commensurate with sadness we have experienced. Give us prosperity equivalent to scarcity we saw or higher. Help us to see triumph. That can literally delete the memory of our trial. Am I communicating? Step me into such a realm of triumph. That will delete my trial. Do something new. That will delete the memory of something old. Make us glad. According to the years. Wherein we saw evil. According. According. That is proportional. Do something positive. To counter something negative the devil did. That's what he said. Is anybody ready for such tonight? Did you notice that in the restoration of Job Okay, let's look at it. Job chapter 1, verse 1. There was a man in the land of Oz whose name was Job and, the man, and that man was perfect and upright. He was one that feared God and eschewed evil. And they were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. I like you to, if you if you like, either underline or note down this property he had. He had. First, seven thousand sheep. Then, three thousand camels. Then. 500 yoke of oxen then 500 she asses again 7,000 camels that is like 7,000 trailers then 500 yoke of oxen that is like 500 tractors that you used to farm then 500 she asses that is like 500 pickups 7,000 sheep let's say 7,000 beetles did you get it? 7,000 3,000 500 500 then Satan attacked him and wiped out everything now if you followed me how many sheep did he have? Eh? 7,000. How many camels? 
3,000. How many yoke of oxen? How many she asses? That was what he had to start with. Now, when Satan wiped out everything and God restored Job, let us see how many of those God gave him back. Job 42, 12. Okay, let's start from verse 10. Job 42, verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Now look at verse 12. How twice was it? So the Lord blessed the later end of Job more than his beginning. For he had how much? 14,000 sheep. How much sheep did he have before? 14,000 means what? Double. And then 6,000 camels. How many camels he had before? 3,000. 6,000 means what? Exactly double. He had 500 yoke of oxen before. How many yoke of oxen does he have now? A thousand yoke of oxen. He had 500 she asses before. How many she asses does he have now? A thousand she asses. That is exactly double for trouble. Ay, 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 ay. You know, when you read the Bible, you, you, you need to take time to understand what he's saying. It's not just numbers. Where there was 7,000, 7, he made it 14,000. Where there was 3,000, he made it 6,000. Where there was 500, he made it 1,000. Where there was another 500, he made it 1,000. To make it exactly double. I announced by that mantle that turned around the life of Job. Every area of your life where you have suffered losses, I declare the restoration of double. Double favor. Double progress. Double lifting. Double honor. Double grace. Double oil. You believe that shall the loudest. Amen. Take your seat and listen to this. Why does God do so? Three reasons that I have seen here. Number one, to take the enemy by surprise by having the final and finest say. He takes the enemy by surprise by having the final and finest say. God does not only have the final say, he has the finest say. Second, did you get that? To take the enemy by surprise, by having the final and finest say. So that when the devil thinks he has done his worst, God will show the devil that he will do his best. Second. To cause the publicity of the adversity to be drowned in the publicity of the prosperity. He does it double so that the news of the progress swallowed up the previous news of the problem so that the news of the prosperity swallowed up the news of the previous adversity so that the news of your triumph will swallow up the bad news of your trial. Thirdly, how many of you believe here tonight? Whatever you passed through before that people heard about that was negative. Very soon they will hear something positive that will make them to forget that thing negative they heard. That will swallow up the news of that negativity. Shout the loudest, Amen. Finally, he gives double for trouble to reward faithfulness 
in the face of frustration to reward faithfulness in the face of frustration faithfulness in the face of confrontation that is job despite everything you were passing through you still remain true to me you kept coming to church even when you were struggling to pay transport fare you kept coming to church even when you were under the threat of landlord eviction or ejection you kept coming to church even when your family members are wondering whether you are in your senses said i want to reward your faithfulness in the face of frustration you know everybody can go to church when everything when when they, they when when they had their good cars and good houses and everything it takes people who are brutally committed to god to continue going to church when things did not seem fine somebody's faithfulness before those who think you are wasting your time your faithfulness is about to be rewarded you know they told job to curse god and die his wife was the one who told him but he remained someone here people thought you have wasted your life and you are wasting your time and wasting your energy and wasting your resources i prophesy to you today god will give you double for trouble if you want to see double for trouble what are your keys number one remain faithful to god remain faithful job said i will maintain my integrity job chapter 27 from verse 5 6 7 god forbid that i should justify you Till I die, I will not remove my integrity from me. Remain faithful to God. Don't become a sinner because your testimony is delaying. Don't find yourself a husband or begin to live unbelieviously or say, my time is going, let me better have a child. If I can't get married, a child without a husband, don't do that. Remain faithful to God. Number two, refuse to give up on God. Wait for God. And for somebody, this season is your season. Say the loudest, Amen. amen. Refuse to give up on God. Job 14, 14, I will wait until my change come. Job, I think 13, 15, even though he slay me, yet I will trust him. I'm not giving up on him. That is, in case he's the one that is attacking me. But God will never attack you. He will not be the one to slay you. Even though, even if he's the one who hates me, I will, I will still trust him. Refuse to give up on God. And thirdly, refuse to be bitter with those who mock you. Bitterness will deprive you of the sweetness and goodness of God. I just said something. Bitterness will deprive you of the sweetness and goodness of God. Refuse to be bitter with those who mock you or hurt you. Job prayed for his friends before God changed his story. Job chapter, 40, chapter 42 verse 10. Those same friends that were insulting him. He called them miserable counselors. At a point, he called them physicians of no value, doctors that are useless, prescribing drugs that are of no benefit. That was how useless they were in his life. They were attacking and mocking him. 
that it was because of his sin that he was suffering. Have you, have you come to the point where some people look at you and say, maybe, maybe, maybe your sin is too much, God cannot hear you. Even the devil also may have told you like that. But Job refused to be bitter with those who mocked him. He even prayed for them. And, and God changed his story. Apply those three points today in this fast so that your fast can be beneficial. So that you'll come out with a testimony. But I prophesy in the name of Jesus before this season is over God will fulfill Psalm 90 verse 15. He will give you double for your trouble. He will give you triumph for your trial. Stand on your feet to the loudest shout of amen.